So today we're going to have a look at using iMovie. This is a program that basically comes with most of Mac uh, software and it's a very nice, uh, very easy to use program for creating short videos that are in any format you want. So from movie files to mp4s, uh, whatever you need, whatever size you need, um, resolution, you can adjust audio and color, make other enhancements, crop it down, and so on. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a screen recording that I made a little while ago and export it as an mp4, which is going to be a whole lot heavier. If you go into your files here, you can look at the difference between in screen size between a movie file, MOV, you can see that that is 152 megabytes, and that same file is going to be 50 when it's exported as an MP4. So that's the goal here. The quality isn't all that much worse in an MP4, but this is the standard that everybody uses to uh, export and import video. So we want to get out of this whole scene, this whole movie scene, and, uh, and get ourselves into a much lighter format. Here you have the same file, 233 megabytes, and the exact same thing that I did, 127. So it's, it's less than half. It's, it's very much lighter. All right, so what we're going to do, I have iMovie open. I'm going to create a new movie. So you just go to File, New Movie. You can choose from a whole bunch of different themes. I tend to go sort of low profile here with the no theme, but you can go all over the place. This one here, I'm going to uh, give it a name. Uh, and in this case, it's a screen recording that I just did talking about PowerPoint themes. Okay, go ahead and create that. All right, so what it's doing is it's setting up a new workspace for us. I'm going to just get rid of some of these things here because it's going to basically move it to the trash, clear up my workspace just a little bit. And you do that by selecting all this stuff here and right clicking, move it to the trash. Okay, that's a little bit nicer now, a little bit easier to deal with. So I now have a new project. I'm going to go to import. I'm going to import that movie file that I just created, which is a screen recording. All right, let's go find it. There we are. I'm going to import this whole thing. It's going to take a little while because it's a big, heavy file. And it's going to populate this area here. This is your raw footage area. And this is your final footage area. Get rid of all that stuff. Now it's finished populating. So we're all got the entire screen recording in here. It's about um, ah, maybe a 10 minute thing. So this is it right here. It starts here. This is the last thing that we imported. And it's a little difficult to see, but you can kind of get an idea of it by looking at the content to see where things start and end. This one here will end right there. There's a little gap here, and then this file starts. So I'm going to select this whole thing all the way to the bitter end here. by just dragging my mouse across, and you see that it's turning yellow. And when it's yellow, it's selected. So I'm just gonna pull this whole thing down into this area. All right, now this is, this is my work area. And this is the place where I can make cuts and make other selections. So I had a kind of a, of a goof up in here where I was talking about something and I, and I clicked the wrong file, and I just wanna erase that, that just doesn't look right. So I'm just going to go ahead and using my mouse here, this is the end of the file, using my mouse here, I can adjust where I want a video to break. So I'm just going to scroll along and kind of pull it out until I find the place that I want to cut that piece out. And I just take my mouse and I kind of scroll along. There we go. It's right about here that I want to break it. 
All right. So, and you can see here with the audio underneath where you want to break it. Just to make sure, you click on that area where right before the break, and with the right mouse click, you say play. And you can hear the video going on, and you can say, okay, this is exactly the spot where I want to make that break. Okay, now I'm going to take that same item again and pull it in right next to it. This is a copy of the original piece that we had. And this time, I'm going to cut out this first part so that it effectively skips the stupid mistake that I made. So I'm going to just scroll this all the way over until I cover that silly part up right there. I think that's about right, just like that. And you can go ahead and listen to it and make sure that the cut is right. If you put your mouse down here and you press play, you'll be able to hear the audio. Now, I have headphones on, so I, everybody doesn't hear that. But I can listen to it and I can decide, okay, that is exactly the right spot to make those cuts. Okay, now the other thing I want to do is I want to pump up the volume a little bit on this because the volume is a little bit too light. So you have an enhance area here. I'm going to take the volume. Okay, It's currently at 100%, but I would like to have it higher. I'd like to push it up to about 300%. Maybe that's a bit too high. 200 might do the trick. Now you can already see down below that the audio levels are rising. So it's going to be much easier to hear this. And you can always check by right-clicking, play, and you can hear the audio going off. And you say, that is fine with me. Now, I am all done. Technically not. I'm going to be sitting here making more adjustments and fussing further. But for this purpose, I am finished. I'm going to share this now. Uh, in iMovie, you don't have an export or save as like you might be used to with other packages, but you do have a share button, and that's how you're going to make this. Press share. There are lots of ways you can save it. Um, you can upload it to CNN if you think it's newsworthy, but in my case it's not. You can share with your friends on Facebook, but you don't want to bore them with sort of technical boring stuff. Send it as an email, mm, too heavy. So I'm going to save it as a file. Okay. You can choose a number of different resolutions, high definition all the way down. I'm going to go with something pretty small. It's plenty of resolution for me, for my purposes. I'm going to click on Next. And I save it right here. It's already got the title in there because I put the title in earlier. And I'm saving. Now, it's going to take a little while. This share does take some time, so you have to be a bit patient. If you click on the Theater tab at the top here, you can generally get a glimpse of what's going on. Now you can see how hard it's working. It's kind of panting to keep up, but here we go. This is the area where it's telling me that it's working on a video. You can see that this one that we just shared, creating a PowerPoint theme, is puffing and puffing and on its way. And these other ones are already finished. And once you're finished, you will see it appear right here where you have it, right next to the other one. And that's it.